Welcome back. Our third word of Advent is exaltation. Not exaltation, a word that means uh, to regard something as special or elevated in status. Exaltation means simply to leap for joy. To exult is to rejoice greatly, to be jubilant, to maybe even make a fool of yourself in ecstatic celebration as King David did, dancing before the Lord as the Ark of the Covenant entered Jerusalem. The prophet Zephaniah writes, Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Be glad and exult with all your heart. Why? Because the Lord God has removed the judgment against you. This is good news. The Lord God has unshackled you, set you free. This indeed is cause for rejoicing. So exultation or rejoicing with wild abandon is the proper response to the experience of divine favor, the shocking and liberating interruption of a narrative gone wrong. And exultation over the good isn't just our human response. Zephaniah continues, the Lord God will rejoice over you with gladness and will renew you in his love. Divine rejoicing means heaven rocks. Picture that. So exultation or ecstatic celebration rejuvenates the soul. It revitalizes the mission. I sometimes wonder how dramatically different our liturgical celebrations would be, and therefore how dramatically different our church and our world would be if we actually exalted over what we proclaim, that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he lives. Caesar isn't Lord. Technology isn't Lord. Political ideologies are not Lord. The risen Christ is Lord, as Paul writes in his letter to the Philippians. The one we remember, the one in our midst, yes, and also the one we await, is Lord. So exalt, leap up, be glad with all your heart, rejoice in a physical, bodily, felt way. Let your heart swell with renewed encouragement and purpose. Exult in what is larger than yourself, larger than your dreams, beyond the edges of your hopes, beyond your imagination, hidden yet here. Freedom, which opens wide the door to exaltation, freedom, which we seem to want, delivers two terrifying invitations. The first is to embrace the astonishing and perhaps lonely assignment to finally be your authentic self in God, free of obstacles, free of yes buts, stripped bare of excuses. The second terrifying invitation is to exult in your ways of worship and in the works you do, to actually exult in this astonishing freedom to live your life from inside the flesh of God in the risen Christ. In the Christ-centered life, real freedom is the invitation to undergo complete transformation in the risen Christ. The Apostle Paul puts it this way, I live now, no longer I, but Christ lives in me. This freedom to exult wholeheartedly in your worship and in your works is embedded in your anointing in the Holy Spirit, in baptism, an anointing that endures and magnifies in the course of your life. Of course, there's no magic here. 
you have to intentionally embrace your freedom to live and to grow inside this radical grace. When you exult with all your heart, you begin to live differently. You show up with new vitality. Your body becomes more fully inhabited by a larger, more vibrant spirit. And you begin to live more courageously, more conscious of your true inheritance as daughter or son of the Most High. Your arms become free to move outward to accept, to share, and embrace. Your eyes become free to engage others with love, with compassion, encouragement, joy. You begin to live more generously with your time, with your ways of showing up and being really present, being real presence. The more you live in these ways, the more you exult in the giver of all this great good in which you share. This life of exaltation in God and living generously in the world holds capacity to cure 100% of what ails human society today, the afflictions of creation itself. You and I are part of that plan. Here's your third Advent practice. Ask yourself, where am I with freedom that invites me to live without obstacles or excuses? Am I ready to let go my reasons for not being quite there yet? Does real freedom to be my authentic self in God scare me? For bonus points, ask yourself, what do I experience when I deeply exult in the Lord, in the Holy Spirit, physically, what changes? If you haven't already, I encourage you to schedule your office hour with me. It comes with your Advent Booster Pack, which also has my slides plus room for notes. Email me with a few best dates and times and include your time zone. Next, our fourth word of Advent, visitations. See you soon. Dear, dear.